Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the GUI for the start of our multiple rebirths. We're only going to do the GUI today because otherwise this will end up being a really long video which isn't really optimal. So to get started, go under start GUI and we're going to duplicate our upgrade shop and rename this to, uh, we'll call it rebirth uh, GUI. Now under this rebirth GUI we're, we're going to delete our open upgrade shop 1 uh, script, click this shop. Um, image label and hit visible. Next under our scrolling frame you'll see if we add more it automatically updates the frame we did that when we made the system and so what we will do is delete upgrade 2 um, and upgrade 1 we're going to keep as a reference actually no we'll just delete that we'll do this all as we go along. Now I'm going to rename this shop image label to rebirth background and we're going to change the header to rebirth Next we're going to go to our um, main screen, get our rebirth button and drag it into the rebirth GUI and then what we're going to do is under our rebirth event, um, before we rebirth, well what we're going to do, in fact rather than dragging it under our rebirth GUI we're going to drag it under our scrolling frame. We are now going to have to uh, resize this a bit, um, so I'm going to make it a size of 0. Point eight five zero zero point three zero actually I'll make that uh, zero point one five zero on the Y and we're going to give it a slightly darker hint maybe give it an outline as well a UI stroke maybe a thickness of one on the text in fact actually rather than doing this on the text I think we're going to do this as a border actually no we'll do contextual I quite like that and um, and that's it basically. Now in the side this rebirth event, here is before we fire this server under the mouse button one click event, um, we are going to, so just before this, say button dot parent, which is the scrolling frame, dot parent, which is the rebirth background, dot visible equals false. Because then basically when we rebirth, it's going to make this thing invisible and our rebirth will be applied. We're going to change a bit of the text here. Um, this will be click to rebirth, we'll just keep that as is um, for now and what the idea is is that when we have more rebirths, so we've got rebirth 1, so rebirth 1, rebirth 2 and with this second rebirth the idea is that we, under here, under the event we can say rebirth, uh, click rather than click to rebirth it'll be something like click to rebirth five times or like five or something like that in brackets and it will be like rebirth five in as in five rebirths and it will do five lots of ev all the calculations but I'm not going to get into making multiple buttons right now uh, we're just going to get the UI set up and next we'll close um, we can actually make the rebirth background invisible and add in a text button inside of this rebirth GUI which we're going to call open rebirth or we'll just call it open rebirth now as for the size and color and whatnot I'm going to open up my uh, text labels here my coins text label grab the grab the size uh, and the background color so the size we're going to paste that in color as well we'll get the same just make sure it's all the same we'll get any like roundify uh, UI corners so we'll bring the UI corner in Hope if I copied the right color, we'll scale up the text and just design it how you want it to look effectively. So I'm going to leave mine like this. Now under this re open rebirth, we're going to add in a local script, which in here is going to say local button equals script dot parent button dot mouse button one click colon connect function, and then in here we'll say uh, button we're going to open or close the frame so button dot uh, re uh, parent dot rebirth background dot visible equals not itself basically equals not button dot parent dot rebirth background dot visible and this will set uh, if it's true it'll be false if it's false it will be true and this will toggle it on and off so if we now hit test and uh, actually first if we uh, if we go over to our close frame, we need to change the script in here. We'd say button 
dot parent dot parent uh, and actually no that's all still good so now if we hit play and test this you'll see if we hit this rebirth button we've got our rebirth in 1.9k this should still update you can see we keep clicking this it toggles on and off and close it there now you'll see as we collect these orbs 1.8 should go down to 1.7 in a minute we are 1.7 and it continues now if we do get enough speed to actually rebirth which i'll show you now so you can see i can rebirth in 300 so i can now rebirth i've got enough points so if i click that uh, it closes and it uh, resets and gives us our rebirth so that's perfect everybody so next video i'm going to show you the code to actually make these multiple rebirths uh, i think we might fix up this portal as well uh, make sure the portal um resets respawns you uh, along with the rebirth as well so thanks for watching everybody um i'll see you in the next video and goodbye